Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 53 So We got this thing uh, of answer going on That it's going to unravel Will's story However um, The way I see it because we are finished um, Unraveling what it is um, Shadowheart's story, Astarion's story And pretty much our own Paladin story with um, With the whole Dark Urge thing as well that will be remaining Karlak and Laysel and Will, of course, with answer and whatnot. However, I do realize that in order to go and do that, we are really stepping into end game type of thing. Um, so it's it's basically getting there. It's almost a point of no return. So what I'm going to do it's. Uh, before getting to all of that with answer the dragon, the heart of the gate, and the skull, I want to finish up a few things that we need to do. So first of all, I was reading... Um, where are we? Right. I was reading this thing. Yeah, turns out we have all of Dribble's body parts. So let's finish that off. Uh, well, that's in Rivington. That is something I, I never done before. I don't know what happens. Right. We gotta go to the circus here. Those to still on about that business. Circus of the last days. Here's where we bought that face paint. It was pretty funny. The genie. Which is not the same genie from last episode. Just confirmed that. Oh, PS5 does not want to load this thing here. Ouch. Here we bought the statues. That was pretty good. Okay, there she is. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Yep. Oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites, and his teeth are missing. But oh. these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before. Where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? Here, darling. A little something from your friend, Lucretius. We got our reward. My circus and I can now finally leave. Well, the circus is living. Yeah. Pleasure. And I you, you delectable vintage. Oh no, back and off. If you do take on the absolute, <laughs> do try not to end up like poor dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. Oh spell might close. Uh, when casting on a spell that requires an attack roll, you take a minus five penalty to roll um, to the roll to deal an additional one d eight damage. So basically, you take a minus five on the possibility of making a good roll, but if you get it, you make like sick damage or something like that. That's that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So very well. Uh, there is very little things that we need to finish. Around the city, actually. Let us see. The thing is, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we can go to Worms Crossing because we got the whole thing with uh, Gortash going on, of course. Uh, so here's the thing. W one another thing that we need to do uh, in order to carry on with Will's story is that we have to save that woman 
from from the fists you know she's a, like a friend of Will's and Will's father and whatnot the thing is we can make it to the to Worms Crossing but we cannot cross the bridge we're not cross the bridge anymore you see it's open uh, it's left up that I imagine it's a Gortash thing uh, so basically we're gonna get past if you try well the guards are gonna be like yeah you, there you go go ahead but you really can't so what would be the next thing to do because then again uh, stepping up to Gortash and whatnot it would result on uh, us stepping on end game material and a point of no return also we have a thing here it's the the girl that worked for Gortash uh, that was none of my plans but oh no 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 he's just talking to this one so the other yeah, oh true because the other one we killed any case let us go because the thing now uh, we're gonna go to Basilisk Gate well we gotta go from Rivington because it's a different area we gotta go from here to mm. now to the swims crossing here yeah Because here are a few things that, uh, as I've been mentioning, the, uh, I say I say this all the time, uh, but in reality, I haven't spoke about this in, like, I don't know, 10, 20 episodes. But a lot of things from uh, Act 1 and Act 2 are going to be here. Uh, like sort of continuations and close-up on stories that we've been around. Very well. Right, so here, here we are. That thing with uh, with this place here, that is lost to us. Can't do anything. What are they talking about? Quite detailed, quite colorful, quite unnecessary. I don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, I didn't even realize. We got the pet. The pet that was back in the lamp. So, a few things. Over here is the Elf Song Tavern. A lot of characters that we met back in the day told us to come here and meet them. Um... I ignore if there is anything of... Uh, oh yeah, this is the chef. This is where we first uh, entered into the Orin's mission. But in any case, here you have it. A dead beholder. I don't recognize anyone, quite frankly. Pretty well. But there it is, the Elfson Tavern. This is the place uh, where we did the whole Orion mission as well. All very connected. It's a massive city, definitely, and everything has a, a fucking thing to do. We cannot loot them. Yeah, there's Lord Rogan's Tower. Bone Cloak Apothecary. So this is very interesting. 
Look at that. Yes, love. Not like dashy old ghost. Sorry. Didn't anyone teach you to sweep towards the door? Need more business than this to keep the place afloat? Maybe if you didn't eat enough for three, Balin, you glutton. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is really bad. This is really messed up. Buy Bone Cloak's potions, renowned for value and potency. I don't know if you guys remember these two, but these two guys we met at the Myconet Village back in the Underdark. And I explained you the story a little bit, I sum it up. So, turns out this guy uh, was a total jackass. He would uh, beat on her wife or something like that. Actually, she has like markings on her face and scars and stuff. So, apparently, what happened is that he's going senile, or as I understood, she sent him to get a specific route for them potions and stuff. And the, the way was very dangerous or something. I think the, the initial intention was to send him there in order for him to die. Or something like that. In any case, he's in a very uh, weird state of mind. But at least she doesn't get bit up anymore. And yeah, we actually saved this guy. We got a root or a mushroom, I don't remember. That I did explain back in the day that you could use that to reveal Shadow Hearts memories because that's what it does you can actually give it to this guy back then and re retrieve his memory i think and i believe he becomes himself again being a dark church i think we can do that as well but i don't know we gave it to her uh, to help her <laughs> it's you i never forget a face welcome to bone cloaks yeah, see, she's Doors got like still open, thanks scars. To the noble stock you helped us with. We've even enough left over to keep ourselves fed. Not that Balin's worth the gold it takes to keep him fattened up. Anyway, we can knock a little off the top if you've a mind to buy. Mm. Are you glad to buy it to be back in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> oh, sure. Cultists on the loose. A murderer hacking people to bits, and big metal freaks stomping hither, thither, and yon. Couldn't be more delighted. Hmm. Just like home, right? Uh, let's see. How are you and Balin getting on? He's wrecking my head as always. Makes himself useful with a broom from time to time, at least. Oh, well, I don't know. You might like to nap on Balin. Harmful enough. What happens if I say this? You don't know him like I do. He may play the lamb, but beneath it all, he's a black hearted ogre. Got the scars to prove it. Right. Anyway, you ought to keep your nose in your own corner. You might upset folk. Very well. Let's see what you got. Take your pick. Right. Oh, she's got the thing. She's got two of them. I'm guessing she's growing it now or something. Ah, let's see what you got. Well, them potions are always useful. What is this? If the water heals a poison creature, it's no longer poisoned. That's useful. Useful enough. Okay, yeah, why not? Mm, other than that, you don't have any of the rubbish that I sold you back in the day. I'll give me fire. You never know when you need it. This too. Mm, let's buy the things. Let's see if we can do anything with that. That'll be interesting to see if it actually can happen. Hmm. Right. But is that it then? We don't get any any more I don't know. Any more nothing. Very well then. Okay, okay then. So what I wanted to do today 
was to go to that old uh, wrecked stop house. I don't know if you guys remember that. But when we were doing our missions and stuff, I... Uh, and it's, yeah, I think this was in the times when we were uh, doing the whole thing with Oren. I came across one of them houses that was very in a very bad state. I think it's pretty close to this one, so actually. Oh, there it is, this one. We walked past outside of this house and we heard something about a hack. And well, we've encountered a hack before. So if there is another one, we might want to know about it. Let's see. Yeah, it was the the this house in bad state. There is people inside. There's like three guys. It's like a party. This is like a paladin, barbarian, and I don't know, a warlock warrior. And leave our leader, the one who saved us, behind. No. You see this? My honor won't allow it. Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> they do realize when we're listening up. Warning. The property of the individual known as Old Garlo has been deemed unsafe for habitation under City Bylaw 42A. Do not enter. Mm, no? Okay then. Let's use our Paladin ski. Mm. What are you doing? What do you care, you peasant? Then you see I'm busy. Very well. Nothing else around. Good afternoon, boys. What are we doing? Oh. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words. She's a paladin or a cleric. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. I will lead your souls, Ra. <laughs> Lord. Uh, I seek no trouble. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn Helm. its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. A hag here. Aha, it's after you. I can help. I fought one before. Uh, right. Let's go. Wait. Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. At ease, everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Mm, if you pissed off a hag, you're screwed. Why is she hunting you if all enough hags? Not necessarily. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Thanks to Mayrina, our leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Only... Mayrina? Mayrina's Wait, what? Text by the very hag who now hunts us. I did not even fucking realize. Holy shit. Yeah, I know her. Marina is here. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. And you think By that face is normal? There is hope. If anyone can help Marina, it's you. She's upstairs. Oh, she's she's here. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Ah. Huh? Very well then. 
Let's let's go up. Helm and Bow's Journal. Okay, Helm is one of the gods that I show you uh, a while back, an episode ago actually. Please, old lady Marina. She's nice and kind and sweet to Clint. Uh, to uh, everyone. Right. <laughs> Very well then. What about you? Convenient. What? You showing up like How was this? that? You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. I never seen a dragon ball with such soft skin. Then stop wasting my time and go help her. Ah, very well then. A bit of an idiot. What about the cleric? I mean, she's praying. I'm glad you're here. I clearly lack the power to keep the hag and her hexes away from Marina. You are kind. But I serve Helm. And failing to keep this hex from Mayrina is unforgivable. In both his eyes and mine. None. The magic originates from a hag's twisted lair. Of that, I'm sure. But as to its cure, Helm has not revealed it to me. Oh. Very well then. Helm. I'm not worthy, let my life alone. Something, someone's laughing. She's, <laughs> is that Marina? What the fuck? Ship. Oh, this is the husband. <laughs> oh no, Marina's a fucking ship. What the fuck? What is this? Thing. <laughs> Voodoo doll. What a strange looking doll. Oh, it changes places. Marina. <laughs> she says, "Woof! What the fuck?" <laughs> and she makes like a horse now. Hold on, lads. This is why these things are very useful. Let's see now. What? I'm here to help you. But it doesn't do anything to the... <laughs> oh, oh no. But if I pick it up, it just teleports. Damn it. Guys, can you move? Stop laughing. That's on TF though, isn't it? Oh no, it takes HP off of her. <laughs> and I cannot pick it up. Strange looking doll. Very well, let's see. I saw a safe lock downstairs. This thing here. Ah, <laughs> oh, but it's on red. It's stealing. Hold on. Should be able to. I don't know if it works though. Spot of healing will help. She's back. You removed my the Dragonborn. Uh, that's annoying. 
It was you. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. What? I don't matter. Only Auntie does. What a fucking prick. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. I already done more than that. We we almost kill her and we got literally one of her hairs. That's why we got so much strength. Ah, holy shit! True cruelty rules with fear alone. Pathetic. They had had charmed you. Huh. You have no idea how wrong you are. I have worshipped her for decades past, and will for decades more. What the fuck? Ow. Oh, it's the same guy. He's one of them. Uh... It reminds me of Boal. Very well then. Yeah, it, it speaks exactly like Boal. I mean, look at that. You really think you stand a chance? Battle favors the fearless. You deserve this treacherous prick. Hold on. That lying, thieving, scaly little shit. Thanks for knifing the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. And I'm starting to think that you don't stay out of trouble, girl. For real. Uh, you made an adorable ship. Thanks. But my mouth tastes like mutton. And I'm itching in hard to reach places. I'm gonna make the witch that did this pay. And I have the means to do it. So it's anti-ethyl. This group is made of survivors. I thought it was like People a... People like me who've been hurt by hags. A different one. I brought them together to fight back. We tracked a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Oh, she caught another one. And he needs on the missing girl. None. Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help her. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Mm. You, were, uh, you were going to give you, uh, your kid to a hag willingly, maybe this is the same. Oh, that's odd. When someone tells you day in, day out that you'd be a useless mother, well, you start to believe it. Who knows what she's done to this woman? Look, I know you're busy with big time heroics, but we need your help. A child's life is on the line, and her mother is the best lead we've got. Uh, very well. Thank you. With you at our side, that hag won't know what hit her. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework oh. on hags since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Laura was knocking about Basilisk Gate at the Flaming Fist's headquarters. Good luck. Oh, what is this? Stuff of interruption. It's got counter spell. It's not bad. Necrotic and counter spelled. Well. That's the thing is, I want to believe Marina and whatnot. I want to try to understand. Mm, but isn't she clumsy and all? I don't know. What is this? A gem of Ethel again. She laughed. A mouthful of my guts as she ripped my baby from my stomach with her teeth. I screamed and so did the babe. But they changed into a doll. A horrible looking thing. I woke up freezing cold but burning hot. Will I ever escape that goddamn witch? I saw the doll again. 
but it was no dream. Cled was telling me about a nice cloud uh, he saw outside. When I spotted it over his shoulder, staring at me, I screamed and, and poor Cled started screaming too. So I lied and said I, uh, I saw a mouse. I think I just need to sleep. The doll is everywhere. I tried to warn the others, but I can't speak. Can't walk. My fingers stiffen as I write. Adrienne. Uh, the page ends in a bizarre off-kilter scroll. Mm. She was stopped from keep writing. Or maybe that's when she turned into a... to ship. Well, we are investigating this now, lads. Let's see. We can now go down and... And check the safe. There's nothing around here. Nothing seems to be here. Ethel Slayer Key. My darling, Auntie has sent you a little present, a hex doll, just for Marina. Uh, use it to scare her a little, um, and her little cronies off, or butcher them. I don't care. Just find that book, or I'll rip, you, uh, rip out your lungs and feed them to your brothers. So she has more followers? That's weird. That's weird as fuck. Uh, very well. So this is a book on Helm. Uh, that's the god the cleric worships. Uh, this journal is written in an elegant hand on each page. A gauntlet with steady eye, it's carefully drawn. I was lost when I came to the city. A coward, a drunkard, I, th uh, I thought everything that made me worthy had been stripped away by the Anis Hag. Okay, so this is the, um, the cleric story I would I wager. And then Marina found me. She helped me uh, remember the tenets I once fought for. Courage, honor, duty. She brought me back to Helm. Yeah. She said, my life. Now my savior, my friend is in pain. I had hexed her, dropping her in the body of a sheep. Well, if we, if we would have read this before, it would have been, like, better, I guess. It was my job to protect her and the others. And I failed. If she, if she dies, I will not... Uh, I will be not... I will be not be long following her. Oh. We can open this now. It's not in red. Dear stained journal. Uh, the girl is dead. We were so close. So close to perfecting it. Another day. And she would have been safe. But we were too late. It was too much for, uh, for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafter this morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Oh, this is one they lost. Uh... Two years old, a little alive by a hag. Ah, it's the same girl, is it not? No, it's not because it, this one is dead. But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. Stay close. Oh. So maybe it is the same one, lads. Maybe it's inside of her. Oh, that's gross. Turn a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and the helm on my side, I could theoretically force emesis causing the hag to vomit up a stolen child. I both pray this works and that uh, I'll never have to use it. Detailed instructions uh, follow on how to make or what the author calls the hag's pain. That is necessary and interesting. We got the ashes of dry fey flower. Okay, we're gonna read this as well. Sorry, that is too much reading. Uh, let's see. Uh, an, an excerpt from A Hunter's Guide to Hacks by the legendary Dwarven Ranger, Amanda Herwood. The text in this exp uh, excerpt has been underlined several times. All but the most arrogant of hacks, uh, from night to bear, uh, know that death is a possibility. 
As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hacks use all of the, of all things to become an humble mushroom. By imbuing this spore producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Neither plate nor bow will do this fungi lasting harm. The very uh, twisted magic that heals the hack defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes, and your plate will strike the hack's heart true. But a warning, Hunter. Even in death, a hack is dangerous. Be quick and swift, and be deadly. Mm, very well. Let's see if we can talk something else before departing. This is all my fault. Mayrina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? That's no excuse. I know what they're like. Yet still, I welcomed the Dragonborn with open arms. Mayrina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. From the hags mm, very well. I beg of you. What's with Connor, though? It's a fucking zombie. Stay close to me, Connor. All right? Did you find the missing girl's mother? Laura? Eh, uh, no. Keep searching. A hag is behind this. I know it. Right. Well, yeah, we're gonna go to that. Not the turn I expected for today. And that's been the case in the latest episodes. That's for sure. But what can I say? The game is just massive. I, I frankly don't even know if I will be able to do everything uh, before finishing. So, let's see. She said the fists. That is at the very beginning. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's right here. So she is at the. What is that one doing? Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. I don't know what he's doing. I can't believe it. They actually executed Councillor Floric. They did. I didn't know a person could turn so purple. They did already. Who are you? About time. The Manif assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and hold it. You're not the builder. Do I look like a fucking builder? I've got no use for you. Is everyone in the neighborhood as friendly as you? Look here, lass. <laughs> to get by in this place, you got to be tough as tax. There's no winning over the hooligans at the blushing mermaid with a smile and a nice hello. Now either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. Oh well, then, very well then, you fucking bitch. Uh... <clears throat> Lower your voice, madam. Laura. Looking for her? Looking for... For who? My daughter! What? What's going on? Words about a need said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just hmm? forgive me. Why something happened to her? <clears throat> kind of or is it just like a normal cop being useless? Your Laura, right? And your child's missing. Uh, let the poor flaming fist alone. Is she, uh, something happened to the flaming fist? So is she just being a normal cop and being absolutely fucking useless? Yes, her name is Vanra. This stupid useless fist <laughs> said she had a lead, but she must have been sucking dream mist or something. 
Madam, tell me. You said. <laughs> no, something's going on with her. Maybe it's Ethel. Taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled oh. around the flaming fist. Yes. The blushing mermaids down by the docks. I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? She's a uh, witch. She's a typical fist. They never listen. <laughs> oh, we can get this. I don't know. Maybe we should try. Since we are into this mission now, let's try and get everything that we can. That's a fucking 19. And it got no pluses. And it get a 2. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use one. One only. Very well. It matters not. I sense nothing amiss. What, um... What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! Uh, I think there's a hag in the city. This might be connected. In Baldur's Gate. Oh, now you come to your senses. That would scare me more than I already am. What would a hack home in my Vanra? She's just lost. That's all. The gods. I'm so afraid. And so tired. No. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family. And Vanra's father isn't around. A flame and fist were my last resort. Uh, yeah, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair. Like me. Right. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Mm, mm, ah, I don't know. A bit suspicious that is, isn't it? Uh, any witness? Of <clears throat> the front of house, both and Gannet was there, and the owner of the Blush and Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. All right. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. <laughs> Come find me the moment you hear anything. Something's going on with the fists. Commander Portier, acting marshal of the fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. You're always at capacity, you fucking pigs. Um, in any case, <laughs> what is this? Ah, that's the go to the undercity. No, yeah. These are all idiots. Look at that. Something's going on. Or maybe that's just the cops. I don't know. In any case, lads. The blushing mermaid. Oh, we didn't even go here. Yeah, I think I know the place. I think it's the... I think it's that southern that has... Like, it was made out of a ship. Or it's like a ship turned into a tavern or something like that. Very well. We are on to this case now. This is not at all what I planned for today. But you know, it's actually pretty good. I, these are things that I didn't do. I didn't... I, I killed on Seattle. I didn't know you could do this whole thing. She's all the way here in Act 3. Oh, I think that's it. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. 
It's fucking cool. It's a it's a tavern made out of a ship. I would not, I would have not expected to see her here. Oh, she's drunk. Lol. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Very well then. Yeah, what a place. Look at that. And the music, it's good. Oh, this is uh, Nisha or Nisha. She's one of the targets. She's one of Odin's targets. You can come here and tell her and all of that. Forgot about her. At least she survived. Oh, yeah? You didn't kiss anyone until you were 15. God, what a tragic sheltered life. 15? Sheltered? Not at all. I was exposed to all manner of riots and revelry. Hells, my father even urged me on once or twice. I don't know, I think 15 is... I've been a bit old-fashioned on these matters. I find more pleasure in a courtly dance than a loveless fling. Right. So where do we start? This place is uh, a lot of people. And yeah, I don't know. I think 15 is pretty old. I mean, pretty young. But... Where do we start? Grizzly. Oh, this is the friend. Captain Grizzly. He hung over in peace. Oh, why, hello there, Captain Grizzly, at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? What? Uh, about the missing girl. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen. Clap trap. Here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so called kid. And when we tried to kick her she out, was alone. she pulled a knife on my front man. What? She didn't tell you that bit, huh? Oh, she didn't. So she is actually like a drunk or something. That's because she's taking you for a ride. And not the fun kind. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, Someone might die. Something has to be done. Hmm. The child is missing. I just want to get uh, to the bottom of this. Gods. Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this. But I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. 3,000 for killing her, apparently. Mm, I don't know, lads. This, uh, I mean, she's suspicious. Laura, I mean. Did she lie? Like, the thing is, we cannot do any of this without Bruce. That's insane. And 3,000, let's be honest, it's shit to me right now. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If what? you don't do it, I'll find someone else. So she you doesn't have a can make it kid. Painless. Not everyone will. So what's Marina about then? What's she, go what's she gone about? I refuse to do your dirty work. Yeah, we cannot do anything anyway without the proof. Oh, you're no fun. 
<laughs> oh, what? I wanted you to stain your soul with the blood of an innocent mother. Oh, she's the hack. Guess I'll just decorate the room with your insides. Oh no, it's not Ethel again. My new carpet it is. Oh. <laughs> it is her again, lads. Oh fuck. There she is. What the fuck? Hello, Pregnancy? What? Pepper. She's pregnant? Miss oh me? no, that's gross. <laughs> that's gross. Did you guys see that? It said hack pregnancy. What the fuck? That is so gross. Uh, I let you go once already, hack. Don't get, uh, don't get in my way. The hell are you doing here? Marina ran off with the child I was promised because of you. That is so gross. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very ah, oh, she ate tasty. it. Ah, no. You ate Vanra? She'll thank me for it. <laughs> Venra sits in my belly, growing fat. Oh, she's not dead. Power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. She's not dead then. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For a while, I'd love to rip your guts out. Bitch, please. I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, huh? walk away. Walk away. Oh. And let me a fine hag make. Yeah, that is true. We we just read that about, about that in the book. We need to do the... Uh, some potion. I don't know, I don't know, because if we fight now, the kid's dead. Let me have a look. We need to make the potion, probably, or look about that. Surrender the child immediately. Let's see what happens. Oh, what? You'll kill me? Touch me, and the girl dies. That's true. And I'll simply return. Woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I leave Foul you creature. to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Van will suffer. Ah, that is so gross. Okay, so we get to. Oh. So everyone was uh, one of them <clears throat> goblin. Well, these are not goblins. What are they? They right. So we gotta we gotta figure out the potion. I guess we can make it. Uh, I don't know if we had the ingredient, but we gotta do that, and we gotta make sure to. Um, to not hurt the kid. I don't even know why we're so deep into this quest. We should be closing up storylines. Walk away. Walk away. And let me a fine hag make. Right, so we're gonna just leave then. Smartest thing you ever said, Petal. Oh, and give Laura my love, won't you? Bye-bye now! It's gross. Right. <clears throat> what we're gonna do then, lads? Oh, can I open this? 
I'm being watched. Hmm. I have been seen. We cannot. Anyway. What we're gonna do is uh, we are going to go to uh, Merina, I imagine. Wait, she's here then? No, I have invisible. Uh... Ooh. Russian mermaid's basement. Ah, this is just the basement then. Right. I mean, this is another door. But don't worry. What we're gonna do now is gonna go to me to my arena. See what we make out of this whole thing. Right, so where where was she? Around the center. That's Laura's house. Mm, and this is Kalo's house. Right. Let's get out of here. I thought he was dead. He's drunk. What sort of place this is, though? In any case, the kid's not yet dead. We can manage this, surely. How much did you drink, you idiot, uh, where was the house again? Ah, it's over there. This is the um, the house of the of the woman, the blood worker. Massive place, lads. Wait, it's over there. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna do this quest, but I don't think I will be 100% uh, in the series before finishing the lore series, per se. I, I think it's just too much, lads. And truth be told, we lost everything that has to do with Gale, and we lost a lot of things. And obviously, because you're not bad, there is also many, many other things that you lost. So I've been thinking about a second series, <laughs> quite frankly. I should speak up. Stay close to me, Connor. All right? Okay, let's see. Did you find the missing girl's mother, Laura? Yeah, I spoke to her. I did. Her daughter, Van Rice Vincent. I found the hack. It's Auntie Ethel. She's back. Gods, I should have known. Who else would have turned me into a sheep? To think she's been a stone's throw from Connor and me this whole time. Wait. Ethel's magic turned him into this monster. I if she's still alive, maybe that's why he's stuck like this. What? If you kill Ethel, maybe. Maybe he can be human again. Oh, okay. So this is the dilemma now. Oh, Marina, why? This is the dilemma now. Now she will be hell bent on killing the hack, obviously. But if we are to do that, uh, the kid dies, right? So this is gonna be the thing. I don't think it works that way. Quite frankly, I think Marina right here is smoking a massive joint. <laughs> if, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I'll kill Ethel, that's all I can guarantee. Just let Connor die, it's a merciful thing. I mean, truth be told, the guy is fucking decaying already. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Just try, alright? That's all I ask. And if... If it doesn't work, I'll figure something else out. I mean, that is as alive as it can be. I don't think you can... I don't think there is any magic that can do anything any better than that. But anyway, I guess we'll fi uh, we'll figure out the whole recipe thing. Uh, I mean, do I have it here or something? Oh, a lot of things. Right. But yeah, we'll figure that out in the next episode. We're gonna go towards Ethel. We'll try to do the right thing as as always. We're gonna try to bring the the best of outcomes to the situation. Uh, I don't know. This is like a diversion episode. Almost like... <clears throat> almost like... Um, the other episode on Auntie Ethel. Sort of a diversion episode. 
Uh, I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. This is pretty good. I'm gonna do the whole thing probably, and then we'll be back at the lower unraveling storytelling thing. I promise. And uh, with that being said, dude, I'm I'm doing the outro. Please, come on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.